Hi, my name's Tom Scioli, and I'm working on a comic called GoBots for IDW and Hasbro. And I'm working right now on the layout for issue four, page 14. Do a couple of talking heads, maybe, uh, maybe Turbo chimes in with something. rather than leader one. Turbo, who's the red sports car go-bot. Instead of Psykill responding, Crasher responds. Crasher and Turbo have a past. They have some history between them. So there's a little bit of their sort of uh, global differences coming out in this exchange, but then also some uh, personal grudges. Maybe this takes Turbo by surprise a little bit. Crasher retorts, and maybe as we get real close up, we see Crasher's eyes through her visor. Get a little bit of emotion in there as the conversation's heating up. The gobots have their faces. They some of them have masks that come over their faces, and then you know when they're most guarded, the masks are up, and and when they're allowing themselves to be vulnerable. They, they pull those masks down for a moment, or maybe you can see through the mask a little bit. And then Psykill cuts off the discussion. You know, we're not, we're not doing this right now. This, this is about me and Leader One and our grudges and vendettas our history, our armies, our different philosophies and cults of personality. And the clash of these giant egos. And then the rock lords show up. And I've been working on this comic, this series, GoBots, for a really long time, but it, ha it hasn't hit stores yet. It's going to hit stores in a couple weeks. Um, but I'm already on... I'm already beyond the halfway point of issue four. So I've put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of love into this comic. And I'm really excited to see what you all think of it. I, I come up with the layout as you're seeing. And then I take that layout and I print it. And then I take the print and I tape it to the back of a piece of Bristol board. And then I draw the finished line work on the Bristol board um, through a light box. So I get you know, one last pass at the art where I can sort of tighten it up and and tweak it and and get it just right. And I'm not ready to surrender that part uh, to to digital. I, I I still like the way a, a pencil rolls across paper and the, and the way it breaks up and and. The, the patterns it cause it forms and the softness and the the um, just the life that it has and, and I'm not not quite able to get that digitally yet. I've got a close up on Zod, the Gobot monster. Let's shrink him down a bit. And so my process is pretty much this, where I draw roughly what I want, 
and then I create another layer and I draw it again a little tighter maybe maybe change a couple things and then if it's not quite what I want then I start another layer and, and draw again over that and just just keep building it up building it up getting closer and closer to that vision to to you know what I want this thing to be and then when it's just about how I want it then I do the final pass there's a lot of panels on these GoBots pages I was trying to come up with ways to you know give give the reader as much bang for their buck um, I find a lot of comics are pretty slight you know you 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 read them and maybe one or two things happen in the course of the story and then the cliffhanger and I'd like to get more out of an issue. So in this instance, it means just a lot more panels, a lot more story beats and, and try to tell a full story. Tell, tell the kind of story that, that you'd get, um, get out of, you know, a, a a solid episode of a TV show, like uh, as much with as much like serialized storytelling as there as there is in in TV right now, you still get a lot. You still get like way more than you get in your average modern comic. And I'd like to 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 give a little more more of that. I guess Turbo should have his mouth open if he's talking. Even though they're robots and, and technically you, you, you probably don't need your mouth open to talk. But they learned, the GoBots learned to be human from humans. So they picked up a lot of, uh, a lot of the ticks and, and uh, quirks of humanity, one of which being that you open your mouth when you talk. Because they're robots and they're vehicles, they're, so they can get different paint jobs and, you know, alter their look, take their faces off and put on a new one. The way Turbo was portrayed in the Hanna-Barbera GoBots cartoon, he was portrayed as kind of like the thing, kind of this big brute, rough around the edges. And I just, I don't see that for Turbo. I think he's a little, a little more cool. Here's the arrival of a rock lord. There's Nugget, he's the little golden R2-D2 of the Rock Lord mythology. And this dialogue that I have in here, this is placeholder for now. It, it, it might be the finished dialogue, but chances are, chances are I'll play around with it a little, tighten it up, maybe maybe change it drastically, maybe maybe just change it a little bit. That's like one of the good things about um, doing a comic completely yourself, is that you can uh, fix and, and tinker up, up until the very, very, very last moment.
Maybe I'll extend this panel all the way down to the border. Not really sure, but I know the three main rock lords off the top of my head. I'm not sure about the rest exactly. So I'll just put some placeholders in here. I'm going to check my reference. Put in the rest of the crew. And throw a couple silhouettes in the background. Just some silhouettes, just to make it look like there's a real army here. Cast of thousands. One more pass on the layout and then and then take it to the pencil. So thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video.